Time for the SO6 qualifiers. Now, I suppose we really should start calling these SO7 qualifiers, shouldn't we? It's the hurdle variety first. Two miles, seven furlongs this week. Another odd distance. Not to 120. Daydream Believer, Graham Clutterbuck, Beauty Queen, Martin Lillian, with you, Shindy Wen, Alex Cherry, Smiling Darling, Ben Benici, Juicy Magdalena, James Shea, Fraud Stu Gray, Ajana Candlelight, Thomas Rogers, Lucky Bell Obi Wan, Poles Hay, James Shea, Sablazzo Trouble for Alex Cherry, and Jovial Apparent for Thomas Rogers. Called in and ready to go then. And away they go, waved away by a group of race guys by a tent, and away they go then, and it's Paul's Hay, who's was just about in the lead, pulling for his head the grey lucky belt, with Sablazzo Trouble just tucked in behind them, the pace is somewhat pedestrian, as they make their way to the first, which they've barely got the impetus to get over, but they are over it now, and it's... Salvazzo Trouble, Sablazzo Trouble on the inside, just about in front as they get to number two, which they all get over nicely. With Duty Magdalena closest to us in second, then the grey lucky belt. Paul's Hay has just dropped by on the rail, and then you Shindy Wen is after that one. Daydream Believer is also in that little leading route, looking towards the back, smiling down. There's just about the back marker ahead of or behind the grey fraud when it's Sablazzo Trouble, who's taking them along in the lead by a good three as they take this hurdle on the downhill, which they're all safely over and Sablazzo Trouble it is who's in front and we're on that um, strange track at Cartmel again, I think it's Cartmel where we go round and round and then eventually we're up the straight if you understand, you don't see a horse until the last couple of furlongs. Odd, anyway. Some blood so troubles in the lead. From Hydra Candlelight in second, and Duty Magdalena as they get over number four. Which they're all safely over. And smiling down in the back marker. Still, you shindy win. It's also dropped back a little bit. Sablazzo Trouble it is that takes them along, leading by a length to a Jala Candlelight in second. Then Judy Magdalena is third, and Lucky Bell is four. Then Jovial Apparent is five, and then Poles Hay, and then Daydream Believer. Frauds move up a little bit on the inside of Beauty Queen, and you Shindy went. And Smiling Darling still just the back marker. As they go past the shoot again, and that's as close as you're going to see them until the finish when they caught the other way. Shooting this down, that is. Sablazzo Dribble over Flight 5 in front. With Duty Magdalena just being pushed along a little bit. Lucky Bell the Grey moving up again on the outside. And Ajala Candlelight sandwiched in between the two of them. But the field is now really beginning to group and there's nothing more bunch up. There's nothing more than, I wouldn't say, 8 or 10 lengths first to last. And it's Sablazzo Trouble who's in the lead. So they and take this turn. Got to go around again yet. Yeah. We'll see the shoot shortly. The part of the shoot they do go up. As you can see next time around this will be two furlongs out and that will be the final flight. It will be a considerably long running. And they'll turn up there and head for that winning post. Well, they do that from the knee. Yeah, well, that's, the, that's, the, that's the one. There's the furlong pole. You can just see it there. Anyway, I want to stop rambling. And it's Sablazzo Trouble who's in the lead from Duty Magdalena in second. Then you Shindy when is third. Our Agile Candlelight is fourth. Then comes Jovial Apparent and Paul's Hay. Then Lucky Well and Fraud. And then Beauty Queen Daydream Believer. And finally, Smiling Darling is the, black, is the back marker. Let's take it over that one. And inside the final mile now. Sablazzo Trouble. Still clear by a couple. It's been a pretty uneventful race so far. With not much change in the order, not much going on. And Sablazzo Trouble is in front. Duty Magdalena second, Yushindi Wen third, I'm trying to give Alex Cherry a 1-2, Yushindi Wen now jumps up, tries to take second, but 
quite make it. I think it will do now though. It's going to be Sablazzo Trouble and Yushindi Win from Duty Magdalena and Poles Hay as they get over that next one. And they've only got two more to take now, I think. We have three and a half furlongs to go. And Sablazzo Trouble is clear in the lead and is now going to maybe start kicking for home. Really long running here, remember. In fact, they've only got one more flight to take. And it's Sablazzo Trouble who's clear of Poles High and Duty Magdalene. You Shindy when just been caught a bit flat footed. Then Ajana Candlelight. Fraud is running on, so is Daydream Reliever. Beauty Queen's got work to do. Lucky Bell and Smiling Darling are probably both beaten. As to his jovial apparent as they get over the final flight. And now Duty Magdalene comes to challenge Sablazzo Trouble. You Shindy when trying to run on again. Also, Ajana Candlelight, Poles Hay, Daydream Reliever is between these and they're racing inside the final furlong there and Duty Magdalena has gone on it's Duty Magdalena the only one finishing with any sort of pace is Daydream Believer but they're racing up towards the line now and it's going to be Duty Magdalena that takes it from Daydream Believer second so that's a trouble may have held on the third from Fraud who looks like he needs another furlong or two and it's a win for Duty Magdalena two of those never got into that race at all and it's a strange course, Cartmel. I'm not sure why we go there so often. But it's Duty Magdalena that takes it. For James Shea, Daydream Believer for Graham Clutterbuck was second. Fraud for Stu Gray third. Sablazzo Trouble for Alex Cherry was fourth. Who also took fifth with you, Shindy Wen.